Okay, so you want to create a histogram chart in Excel and you want to know how to change the bin range. So in my example, I want to analyze age ranges within this horticultural club. All I need to do is select a single cell within my data then go to the insert tab on the ribbon. In the charts group, point at the insert statistic chart button and then select this first thumbnail histogram. So you can see along the bottom here, it's expressing the age ranges for us. So 21 to 39, we have six people. And then in the second age range, it says 39 to 57, but that's actually 40 to 57. This is 58 to 75, etc., etc. Now these are called bins and we can adapt the bin ranges to suit our needs. Now to do that, we need to do is double click on one of those labels and that will open up the format axis task pane on the right of your screen. Now the first thing we're going to do is play around with the bin width. So by default, the bin width is 18. We're going to change that to 10. And you can see now I have age ranges in increments of 10 years. Now I can also specify what number the bin ranges start at. And I can do that by using this underflow bin setting. So if I put in an underflow bin value of 25, you can see here that I have a first bin which collects all of the ages 25 and under. This then collects ages 26 to 35, etc. Now I can also specify an overflow bin. So for example, if I wanted everyone over 85 to be in a separate bin, I would enter 85 in the overflow bin box, press enter, and you can see I get that final bin there. Now, the only thing I don't like about these bin labels is the ambiguity. So what I mean by that is, for example, if someone was aged 35, which bin are they in? Are they in this bin, 25 to 35, or 35 to 45? Well, we can find that out if I just sort these ages. Let's change the age of member 1 to 35. Press Enter. And you can see it ends up in this bin, 25 to 35. If I change their age to 36, they come out of this bin and they get put in this bin. So it's a shame that these labels are ambiguous, but there isn't a way of changing the label settings. Now there's a few other tweaks we can make to our chart. For example, you might want data labels at the top of each column. You can do that by clicking on this plus button, top right of the chart and then ticking the data label tick box. So that clearly tells us how many people are in each bin. You could then get rid of the vertical axis and you can do that by going to the sub menu for axes and then unticking primary vertical. And I would also probably get rid of the grid lines. Now to change the chart title, just click on it and then you can overtype the default text and then click outside of the box. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.